Tell me about the horse's ass. Okay. Uh, oh, man. At Bayshore Studio is a huge addition to our capabilities. We really put a lot of effort into cleaning it up, getting it to a place where it was really comfortable for crews to work in, and we, we put our heart and soul into making it crew friendly and client friendly. We really wanted to get the word out that it was back online. <laughs> the Bayshore script was a bit of a monster. Danielle came up with an idea um, that had to do with making um, some kind of video game where you go in and you know you collect points as you hit each room and you do all these different things. So I'm doing this, you go this way. and then you go that way. Okay. I just decided. And Taylor's been here the whole time. And I came, in my mind, with an idea that it would be uh, the talent showing up for the first time to this new studio and sort of getting, you know, kind of rushed into this room, rushed into that room. All right, great. Here, we gotta get you a wardrobe. I need you now. So we kind of took both ideas and put them together and made um, a, a POV version of the talent showing up to at Bayshore Studio for the first time. Hey, there you are. Uh, if you want to go to the kitchen and get some coffee, I'll start over here. Can somebody get the phone? In. Pension fund. You were a Yes? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at Josh. <laughs> well, definitely with this project, we pushed the limits, and I almost felt like I pushed the limits of the software that I had here. Uh, creatively, we also pushed the envelope. So we wanted to get as many Beyond Picks um, staff and crew and friends of Beyond Picks in the video as we could because it, it's about us, it's, 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 it's our story that we're telling. I really feel like I'm coming into my role. With the flowers? Yeah, with the flowers. There you go. But you sure are turned around. You want the stage, it's back that way. I'm going to be the hands of the main character. The camera is dancing with all these different partners and you can't let the camera stop dancing. So the camera always has to find a new partner to be dancing with. Now you start to understand that the person coming to the space is an actor of some kind. You start to understand that they've got to get into wardrobe, they've got to look at the script, but what are they doing? And suddenly Sean in the end said, and then it's going to reveal a horse. And I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Horse's ass, scene seven, take one. Horse, let's have some movement. But then he just continues to talk about this horse, and I'm thinking, oh, he's not joking. Right here. All right, folks, looks like we are going to be shooting something today. Okay. <laughs> but that wasn't enough. We didn't want to end on a joke, because this is a serious thing, and we're a serious company. At Bayshore Promo, scene seven, take one. Slide it. And we cut to this glorious horse rearing up in the, on, a, on, a, on a beautiful meadow with the sun shining and the clouds, the dramatic clouds, and then the stars come out and the fireflies are flying around and the banner comes out. Um, we had to go find a horse that could rear up and then go shoot on location up in Napa at this ranch and set up a giant 20 foot by 20 foot green screen. I had a lot of ideas what we would do at the butterflies and the grass and the field and build like an entire scene it kind of grew into this um, beautiful scene. I wanted to uh, really make it like a magical, almost, uh, almost uh, like some fantasy scene. The biggest payoff of the entire piece is uh, brought to life by what Jim was able to bring to the table. Danielle was like sneaking into the room and she was like so ecstatic about you know, seeing the progress of it. And then she's like, I have to call Sean, I have to call Sean, we have, he has to see it. You know? Jim was instrumental in the success of this video. His creative ideas helped to shape what we ended up shooting. No, no, I think the, the horse should kind of rear up. No. So Andrea should say. Andrea, you gotta lift Orly in the air. <laughs> it really became part of the video because they had to put all the other elements in the video, in the live action part of it, that I actually created here. And I thought it was uh, really nice to have that kind of collaboration and that I could inspire uh, in that way. Ow. The whole project made me really proud and happy, but it was one of the most complicated projects, uh, one of the most complicated graphic uh, treatments that I've done. Everybody at Beyond Picks is, is really professional, and when they show up, even for internal projects, 
They show up with their A game and they and they really give it their all. You ready, Sean? Action. Everyone came in on Saturday, which is their day off. I think the video uh, did an excellent job in portraying the studio in its entirety and all it has to offer. It was a quite you know, quite challenging product. Challenging and fun at the same time. Bayshore has the capability of being a vibrant, communal studio space that services the entire production community of San Francisco, the Bay Area, and beyond.